with humility and humbleness. If Allah has given you the opportunity to get close to him, don't think that others are not close to him. I tell you why. How many good deeds are there? There are thousands of good deeds. Do you agree? How many sunnah deeds are there? Hundreds of thousands. Do you agree? So if you are engaged in 20 good deeds, someone else might be engaged in 40 good deeds, but totally different from the ones you are engaged in. So when you look at them and you see what you are doing is not there, you start thinking this person is not religious. But hang on, they have engaged in other deeds, perhaps much more than you in quality and quantity. And you don't even know. So stop judging. Never judge a book by its cover. If Allah made it easy for you to cover yourself with niqab, say Alhamdulillah, thank Allah. But don't look at someone who's not there on that level and think these people are not even on the deen. If you have grown your beard, Alhamdulillah, never look at someone without it and think these people are not there. Perhaps they respect their parents and you don't. Perhaps they do not backbite and you do. Subhanallah. Perhaps they get up for tahajjud and you don't. So good deeds are plenty. They are not confined to what you alone are doing. Remember that. May Allah open our doors. May He grant us respect of one another. May He make us give up the backbiting, the slander, the gossip, and all other evil. Respect and honor of the Prophet ﷺ is only through following what he has said. He does not want anything else. He wants us to follow his example, to follow his way, to follow his commands, to make sure that whatever we do, we get it from his instruction and cut out whatever will displease Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters, at times we lead a life filled with distress. We are anxious. We have so many issues. We are not happy. There is sadness that has overtaken us. We feel so upset with everything around us. At times, because of human nature, we would probably feel so low and not understand why is this happening to us. Well, Allah tells us to turn to revelation. Allah tells us to turn to the guidance that he has sent us. What is that? It's revelation. If you read the Quran, if you recite it, you benefit. If you hear the recitation, you benefit. If you try to understand it, you will benefit. But ultimately, when you practice upon the, the instructions of the Quran, then you will achieve comfort and peace, goodness, serenity, and Allah will take you out of your mess and you begin to understand that even if I don't have certain things in my life, I am still content because that is the decree of Allah. You begin to live with some of the hardships that you are facing and Allah helps you through them. You understand and realize the reward that Allah has kept in the patience that you've been made to endure by the will of Allah. Many things are not in our hands. Some things Allah has allowed them to a limited level to be within our hands. So I am sitting and talking to you. It's because Allah has allowed it to happen. If he wants, he can block it. But then I made an effort within the boundaries of the energies and capacity given to me by the same Allah. So Allah Almighty speaks about why sometimes people are so, so narrow in their lives and it's been narrowed so badly that they feel that that's the end and that's it. So before I even get to this verse, let me mention that this could happen to good people it could happen to bad people. It could happen to anyone that they're sad. To be sad is not something that would depict lack of faith. But at times it goes beyond a certain point. So your faith and conviction would remedy your sadness to a degree. But it does not necessarily mean that you didn't have faith or conviction. That is why you are sad. Here Allah Almighty in verse number 124 of Surah Taha, He speaks about people who turn away from revelation. People who don't want to reconnect. 
people who don't want to take heed. وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ The one who turns away from revelation, from my reminders, will have a life that will be dunk. You know, dunk is a narrow, sad, depressed, very, very upsetting life. Even though you have everything on earth, it's non-fulfilled. Now, that doesn't mean that depression is caused by lack of faith. No. But it does mean that there are people who might be in that situation for uh, many reasons. One of them is they may have turned away from the reminders that Allah has revealed. That's what the Quran says. Man a'rada an dhikri fa inna lahu ma'ishatan dhanka. Allah didn't say the one who is depressed is because he turned away. But Allah says those who turn away will always be from among those who don't have that contentment. They lack that ultimate happiness and joy and contentment. There it goes. So it's a very delicate situation because some people misinterpret this and say, oh, you're depressed. Well, your iman is weak. Not necessarily. People suffer mental health issues, not necessarily because their iman is weak. Sometimes it's really a human thing. I mean, too much is going on or something's been happening or whatever else it may be. It could be a lot. You have to ask experts. But at the same time, those who have learned revelation will be able to tell you that you should remedy this as well because there is a chance that at times... The reason why we are so unhappy is because we have turned away from Allah. At times it can happen. And that's why you find people find a lot of comfort when they've reverted to Islam. They find joy, yet they had all the freedoms of doing whatever they wished and willed before that. They tattooed themselves, they went to the clubs, they went to the pubs, they had alcohol intoxicants, they didn't even have a term known as adultery or fornication. They did what they wanted, when they wanted, how they wanted, with who they wanted, and they had all the money on, the, on earth. They ate what they wanted, when they wanted, how they wanted, where they wanted, and they were not happy. There was no deep contentment in their lives. Allah says, discipline yourself. Start following the rules of the Almighty who made you. You find solutions to all of this. You don't just do as you please. If you're a believer, you do what pleases Allah and you will achieve the contentment. Look at the faces of those who have good habits. You pick it up straight. This person really has a decent life, mashallah. They respect themselves to begin with. They carry themselves in a specific way. That's why when Allah describes the true believers, Allah says they are the ones who walk on the earth with a lot of humility. They work, walk on the earth in a beautiful way. Immediately they recognize that these people are worshippers of Allah. So it's because when a person is, becomes a worshipper of themselves or a worshipper of the devil, there are signs that will show that. It will reflect that this person is a person who's lost themselves. They don't even respect them, themselves. They have no level of values, morals, you know, or it's a very low level or whatever else it may be. Or they've decided to discard all of that and not even consider it important. They might claim that, you know what, it's my choice, perhaps from a secular perspective, like we've said in the past. But if you call yourself a believer, and if you say, I believe in revelation, well then, that would mean you have put revelation in front, like what we've done. May Allah Almighty grant us true belief and make us true submitters. So Allah Almighty says, فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ A person who turns away from revelation will have a life that is narrowed, a life that is like choking you. وَنَحْشُرُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَعْمَى Worse than that is that on the day of judgment, that person will be resurrected blind. They won't be able to see. They won't be able to see. And they will say, Oh, our Lord, why can't we see here? Yet we used to see on earth. 
I mean, you resurrected us, but you resurrected us with one thing missing, and that is our eyesight. We can't see anymore. And that is when Allah Almighty will respond to them. And the statement is, كَذَلِكَ أَتَتْكَ آيَاتُنَا فَنَسِيتَهَا وَكَذَلِكَ الْيَوْمَ تُنْسَى You know, in the English language we say, someone has turned a blind eye to something. If you've turned a blind eye to something, it means you ignored it completely. So in the Arabic language, Allah Almighty says, our signs came to you, you turned a blind eye, you ignored our signs completely. Today, we have resurrected you blind. So when a person turns away from revelation, two things are mentioned in this verse of Surah Taha that that person will struggle with. Number one is on earth. On earth, their life will be void of contentment, the true contentment. Their life will be narrow. And secondly, in the hereafter, they would be resurrected blind because they turned a blind eye to the goodness and revelation on earth. When it came to them, they didn't want it. They saw it, they read it, they heard about it, they understood it, but they turned away from it. If that's the case, Allah says, well, we're going to resurrect you blind. And when the person questions why, they will be told clearly. The reason is, you turned away from what we revealed, today we're turning away from you. You forgot, you intentionally looked away from. So today we will intentionally forget you. May Allah Almighty forgive us. Grant us strength and never make us from among those who turn away from the goodness and the reminders and revelation. May Allah help us reconnect with revelation. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad.